you like glittery eye looks and just amazing things. We have a weird knuckle swatch going on there. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and buoys for you today and it was an interesting, hard week. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you already kind of know that. Um, I'm gonna do a little real talk for a second. So if you wanna skip ahead, I totally understand. But like I said on my Snapchat, I just wanna be real and open with you guys. So I'm gonna have a little real talk. But um, this week was kind of another chapter in our journey to be parents and pregnancy loss and we had another miscarriage so um, I really thought seriously well first off I want to be really open about my journey because I feel like if anything maybe my story can just help somebody not feel alone and can somehow help someone um, because it sucks like it's a heartbreaking journey so um, I just want to be able to somehow help somebody through my story. So anyway, that's why I'm real with you guys. That's why I'm open about this. Um, but also I thought about, and I'm like even scared to kind of say it because I don't, it would be hard for me, but I'm thinking about trying to do a pregnancy loss video, like kind of our story. Um, and maybe filming it with Timothy, I don't know, but just kind of sharing sort of what we've been through because we've been through a lot. This is not our first miscarriage or our second or our third. So um, it would be a hard video to make because it's still going on. We're still in the middle of our journey. But um, like I said, you know, if it would help somebody, then I would really like to try to do that. But like I said, I don't know if I can 100% commit to that, but if you would like to see that video, if you think it would be helpful for you, um, let me know down below. So anyway, that was this week. So it was just, it was a, a challenging week, but um, I always wear makeup. It always puts a smile on my face. You guys always put a smile on my face. Just your comments, your sweet snaps, your comments on my Instagram, comments on my videos, just your encouraging words. You guys are awesome, so thank you so much. You really did help lift my spirits this week, um, and I just love you dearly. So, yeah, so I mean, I wore makeup this week. Makeup always puts a smile on my face and kind of helps distract me, so I do have some favorites this week. Um, as far as a the theme, it was kind of like more warm tones. I don't remember, I don't even remember what I was liking last week. A lot has happened, but um, I don't really remember what I was liking last week, but this week it was warm tones, so I have some warm tone kind of favorites and some good stuff to share. So let's jump into it. So I received this palette in the mail from QVC. This is the Mally Ageless Eyes Eyeshadow Palette Volume 6. And I have really been enjoying this palette. Mainly the warm tones like Sunset. Um, I've worn Tawny pretty much every day. That is my one complaint about this palette. Um, well, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to run out of this uh, transition shade quickly. So I would love if there were like two transition shades or if the transition shade were larger. But I mean, at least it's there. You have one, but I'm just a little bit nervous that that would be the first one to go. So I've worn those two and then um, Russet is beautiful and then Orchid is gorgeous. So I have Orchid. I mean, look at that. I have Orchid on the outer corner of my eyes today. And I do have this swatched on my Instagram. So if you want to see all the colors, check out my Instagram. But there are those four really beautiful. I mean, gorgeous. And I like the um, transition color because it really isn't like overly intense. Oh, it's getting stuck on my knuckle again. Strange things happen on my knuckle when I try to swatch. So we have a weird knuckle swatch going on there, but it is a really pretty palette. And the warm tones, like if you're a warm tone girl, I think you would really like this palette. Like a, like a sunset. If you like those sunset sort of eye looks, I think you would really enjoy this. And the thing about this palette is that it's not like, whoa, bam, whoa, crazy pigmentation. It's not like the Lorac Pro shadows where it's, I feel like those really have a learning curve because they are so pigmented. But then you have the ones that aren't pigmented enough and you really have to build them up and that's kind of a learning curve too. I feel like this is right in the middle where you can really build them up but they're not too pigment 
pigmented where they're like hard to figure out, you know what I mean? So really pretty. So yeah, if you like those sunsetty sort of sunsetty, that's a new word. If you like those sunsetty sort of eye looks, I think you would like this palette. Oh my goodness, the star of the show for my eyes this week is this Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in Uphold Gold. So I mentioned these in my haul on Wednesday, and I'm gonna do um, a review and swatches video on these, and then also the Sweet Creams. I'll put them in one video, but I could not put this one specifically down the whole week. I love this thing. I have this on the inner corners of my eyes today. It is like coppery, goldy, glittery amazingness. I love this so much. This is in 04 Uphold Gold. I'll save like my complete thoughts about these for my review, but this thing right here, this one, goodness, this is so pretty. If you like coppers, if you like golds, if you like glittery eye looks and just amazing things, I think you would like this. Look at that. What? Oh, so pigmented, so amazing, just gorgeous. I have this kind of as a base. I put something else and then I applied it again. So kind of like the final layer also, but it's just gorgeous. Yeah, I, I think you need this for sure. For cheeks this week, I have a couple of drugstore favorites, and I'm actually wearing both of these on my cheeks today, but I wore them by themselves during the week and really liked them by themselves, but I've been noticing I've been doing that, where I'll wear like things throughout the week by themselves, but then for Friday favorites, I want to be able to show as many things as I can on my face, so I go ahead and wear them together, and then I really like them together too, so I like these two by themselves, but I also really like them together. So first off is the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio. Highlighting blush and this is in Nude. This is just a really beautiful, neutral, glowy blush. I love it in the pan. I think it's so cute with the quilted pattern. These are all really cute in the pan and I have several of them and I love them all. I kind of forget about them. They're kind of one of those like things that got a lot of buzz when they first came out but then you know they've kind of like been forgotten but they're so nice. So this one, it's almost just a highlight, but then it has a little bit of color to make it a blush. I got some loud bracelets going on today, so we got some, some jingle going on. So there it is. You can see it's like got just a little bit of like, I don't know, bronzy, golden, warm color to it but it's just very, very glowy. Really pretty. I love this. I highly recommend this one. Probably best suited for um, light to medium skin tones because I mean, I, I have to build it up pretty good. Unless you just wear it as a highlight. As a highlight, it would be beautiful for deeper skin tones. Um, but for me, you know, I can build it up and then it's really more of a blush, but it's gorgeous. I love all the ones in this line. I think they're great. And the other one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Apricot in the Middle. So what I did today is I applied Nude, the Maybelline Nude, kind of like all over and sort of as a highlight. So all this glow, that's just the nude. I'm not wearing a highlight in addition to these two things. This is all I have on my cheeks. So you can see that glow is the Maybelline, which is really nice. And then I applied a little bit of apricot in the middle, kind of like right on the apples of my cheeks, just for a little bit more color. So this is a really beautiful, pretty pigmented, kind of warm apricot color. That's a good name for it because that's what it is. So I kept that other swatch on my hand because I wanted to be able to show you this one by itself and then also kind of over the other one in a section of it so you can kind of see. I mean, you're already seeing it on my cheeks what they look like together, but you know, in a swatch too. So there is Apricot in the Middle by itself and then I put a little bit of it there so you can kind of see them together. Just a really pretty combo. So I'm glad that I've decided to like play around and put them together today because I think they're really gorgeous together, but they're also really pretty by themselves. So Apricot in the Middle is kind of like a warm, apricot color, but it has that like terracotta warmth to it 
kind of a little bit of like red and it's pretty much I would say it's kind of like a satin it looks pretty much like a satin to me so I love these color icon blushes I think they're so good and they're ridiculously affordable so I would say they're a must-have. This is a little bit random. It doesn't quite go with the theme this week, but for some reason, I was just feeling like a hot pink lip one day this week. For some reason, I just feel like bright pink lips and fuchsia lips just brighten my spirits. I don't know, like happy makeup really puts a smile on my face. So I grabbed a hot pink lip this week, which is the one of the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, and this is in Pink and Chic. And this is like a... This isn't playing around bright pink. I mean, this is, this is an intense bright pink. Really pretty, really bright, <laughs> but a really nice formula. I love these. I think they're so great. I mean, I've been reaching for a lot more of them recently because I want to show them love because I love them. So I want to wear them and they're awesome. Super affordable, really pretty, lots of color options. And if you're looking for a whoa, bright pink, pink and chic is a great option. So, love it. This is kind of funny how this came about, but I have a couple of these Buxom lipsticks as favorites this week. These are the, I think they're like the big and sexy bold gel lipsticks. So, I thought I was grabbing, when I grabbed this one, I thought I was bringing this one with me in my purse. So I thought I was grabbing Evocative Petal, but I went to put it on my lips and I was like, that's not Evocative Petal. It was Sinful Cinnamon, but I actually ended up really loving it. I mean, I already loved it. This is a gorgeous lipstick, and I've included it in favorites before, but I just thought I was grabbing for the other one. And I had been wearing that pink one earlier in the day, so it, was, it had kind of like stained my lips a little bit. So a little bit of like a pink underneath Sinful Cinnamon was really pretty. Like it kind of gave it like a little bit of a mauve tone to it because it's kind of like really just a... 90s sort of nude. It's really pretty, but with a little bit of pink staining underneath, it kind of gave it a little bit more of a mauve tone, which was really pretty. So I love this. I hadn't really planned on bringing it with me in my purse, but it was a happy accident because it's a gorgeous lip color and I really enjoyed it. So Sinful Cinnamon's a favorite this week. And then I ended up successfully grabbing Evocative Petal and wearing that this week too. And this one is just a beautiful, kind of warm, terracotta sort of color. It has some red in it. I'm wearing this one today. I love this lip color. And I feel like it's like unique because it's almost like if you've wanted to try a red lip but you've been scared, this is a really great one to try because it's almost like a muted red terracotta color. And I just feel like it's unique. Like, that's why I love it. I can't think of really another lip color that I have that's exactly like this, like from another brand. I just think it's really a unique, beautiful color. And I don't know, especially with like the warm eye looks, it just is a very like warm, complete eye look together. I think it goes really well with those kind of coppery colors. Love it. And I really like the formula on these. I think that they're really nice. They're you know, matte, but still very comfortable. They stick around on the lips, so they have a lot of color options in the line. So they're really, really great. And Evocative Petal is probably my favorite of the ones that I have because it's such a unique, fun color. And no fooies this week, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Once again, I love you guys so much, and I'm so thankful for y'all. So just thank you again. Um, let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!